Rhinos are huge and can weigh up to four tons. They're herbivores, mainly eating grass and leaves during dawn and dusk. During the heat of the day, they lounge in the shade or wallow in the mud to cool themselves off. Rhinos don't have very good eyesight, so they rely on their excellent sense of smell and hearing to alert them of any nearby danger. They smell or hear anything they perceive as a threat close by. Rhinos will charge full speed at the threat, horn pointing right at it. And no predators are willing to face four tons of muscle with a pointed horn charging right at them. Rhinos can charge it up to 40 miles per hour. Yikes! Rhinos' horns are made of keratin, the same protein which makes humans' nails and hair. The name rhinoceros means nose horn. Giraffes are the tallest mammals in the world, with heights up to 20 feet. They live in the grasslands and open woodlands of Africa. Giraffes use their long necks to reach up to the tops of thorny acacia trees to eat the leaves. Their long black tongues help them reach around the thorns and grab the leaves. A giraffe's long neck, however, is too short to reach the ground. To drink water, a giraffe needs to move its front legs apart and bend its head down all the way to the water, leaving it vulnerable to predators. Lions, leopards, and hyenas all prey on giraffes, but they are hard to catch. Giraffes can gallop up to 35 miles per hour for short distances, and they can kick powerfully with their hind legs. Giraffes only need 5 to 30 minutes of sleep in a 24-hour period. They often achieve that in quick naps that may last only a minute or two at a time. A giraffe spots are much like a human fingerprints. No two individual giraffes have exactly the same pattern. Giraffes only need to drink once every few days. Most of their water comes from all the plants they eat. Giraffes spend most of their lives standing up. They even sleep and give birth standing up. Although wildebeests look like cows, they're actually antelopes. Wildebeests thrive on areas with lots of grass and open space. They are grazers and only eat the grasses that are in the plains where they live. They constantly move throughout day and night looking for more food. They migrate in long columns, running long distances at a gallop. Each year, wildebeest herds travel in a migratory circle of 500 to 1,000 miles. They are single-minded in their pursuit, will swim across large open bodies of water without regard for casualties. Hyenas, lions, and crocodiles prey on wildebeest. African elephants are the world's largest land animal, on average measuring up to 10 feet tall and weighing up to 6 tons. They have over 350 bones and 40,000 muscles. Most of an elephant's muscles are in its trunk. An elephant's trunk is a unique feature of the elephant. It is strong enough to uproot trees, but delicate enough to shell a nut. Another unique feature of the elephants is its tusks. Elephant's tusks are actually teeth that continue growing through their entire lives. Tusks are used to pry off bark from trees and dig up roots to eat. They are also used for fighting and digging for water for the herd to drink. Elephants live in herds from 8 to 100 members. The leader of the herd is the oldest female or the matriarch. Elephants have thick skin around 2 centimeters thick in some places. They cover themselves in mud to protect themselves from sunburn. Despite their size, elephants can be turned off by the smallest of critters. A study found that they avoid eating a type of acacia tree that is home to ants. Underfoot, ants can be crushed, but an elephant wants to avoid getting the ants inside its trunk and full of sensitive nerve endings. Like shown in movies, elephants don't like peanuts. They don't eat them in the wild and zoos don't feed them to their captive elephants. Male elephants leave the matriarch groups between age 12 and 15, but they are not loners. They live in all male groups. In dry times, these males will form a linear hierarchy that helps them avoid injuries that can result from competing for water. Asian elephants don't run. Running requires lifting all four feet at once, but elephants filmed in Thailand always kept at least two on the ground at all times. An African elephant can detect seismic signals with sensory cells in its feet and also hear these deep pitched sounds when ground vibrations travel from the animal's front feet, up its leg and shoulder bones, and into its middle ear. By comparing the timing of signals received by each of its front feet, the elephant can determine the sound's direction.